Hello. Well, like everybody, I had my own ideas about what acting was. I'd even done it professionally for a number of years, and then I did a course. And this course began by dropping kind of bombs of insight and common sense onto a profession, namely the acting profession, that is often shrouded in ambiguity. And these bombs always came with an impression of, yeah, I kind of had an inkling that might be the case. You know, that, that, that feeling of, oh yeah, as if you've always had an impression of something more at the back of your mind, as if there's something more to things than you're being told. Anyway, this thing that changed how I thought about myself, other people, and therefore characters, and of course acting, was one of those very first bombs, and it came in the form of a diagram, a simple diagram. So here's a rectangle, and that represents the consciousness. It could be mine, yours, characters, doesn't really matter, and outside the consciousness we have the outside world. The outside world, or we could call it society, uh, or other people, are looking at us and the way that we think. Now in order for us to belong and be accepted by society, we think we have to be seen to think a certain way. So let's divide the consciousness into a top layer and a bottom layer with this wiggly line. This top layer of the consciousness is what the outside world sees. So here, I'm going to keep the thoughts that I want society to see or to think that I have. And in this bottom part of the consciousness, the bottom layer, the part the outside world can't see, I'm going to keep the thoughts that I really have, but that I don't want to be seen for fear that if they're seen, society will reject me. So you can see this top layer effectively covers the bottom layer. And for this model, but also for future models of the consciousness that I might be sharing on this channel in the future, the further down in this rectangle you go, the further down in the consciousness I have my thoughts, the less likely the outside world is to see them. Also, that means the less likely I myself am going to be able to see them. But that doesn't mean that they cease to exist. On the contrary, these thoughts that I've put right down at the bottom of my consciousness are effectively at the foundation of it. And as such, they have a substantial effect on it. Finally here we can be a little more concise with the labelling and relabel the top layer pride and the bottom layer shame. So there you have it. This was the way that I began in very basic terms to consider the structure of all consciousnesses and that in turn began a fundamental change in my own understanding of myself, other people, therefore characters and of course acting. Please do click the thumbs up if you like this video and of course if you want more of this kind of content then do subscribe to my channel, I think the box is down there in the corner and don't forget to click that bell, that will remind you when I've posted a new video. Any comments or questions you have just leave them in the section below and I'll be sure to respond to all of them.